shut up. I set fire to your empire. I blow smoke in your face, burn tires. Yes, I am J. I am. Yeah. Them Drinking makes me happy. It makes my blood circulation run faster, making me feel hot and energetic. Clubbing is all about the music, dancing, drinking, and hunting. That is why I love it there. When I wake up in the morning, I like taking photos of the guy who is sleeping next to me. I just think they look so beautiful, and I want to capture that moment. handling Emily's case for about eight months. The first time I, I met her, she was a quiet girl, barely spoke to me. Over the first few sessions, I came to learn more about Emily and helped her to explain what she was feeling. Her concerns about loneliness, about not fitting in, not being part of the world that she was living in. And after about six sessions of working with Emily, I began to formulate some uh, ideas around uh, the problem. I was beginning to think that we perhaps were working with someone suffering from a borderline personality disorder. <laughs> Difficulty with long-lasting relationships, this inability to uh, form and retain any sort of relationship, whether it's uh, with a male or female, was a fundamental problem for Emily and is the first starting point for the nine criteria uh, associated with borderline personality disorder. see in Emily's case uh, this apparent addiction to promiscuity, to alcohol and substance abuse. Another symptom of uh, personality disorder could be seen in an unstable self-image. Emily, like uh, other personality disorder sufferers, had this problem of feeling tremendously empty, of not belonging. <sighs> Sometimes I feel so happy, but most of the time, I feel sad. It's like I'm alone, empty, hopeless, and in pain. All at the same time, I really don't understand myself. Borderline personality disorder can occur in, in any social class, in, in anyone. Uh, you can find that some families have what's referred to as the perfect family syndrome where issues are brushed under the carpet, not acknowledged. And this builds up through a young person's life and becomes uh, a trauma, a disorder in their normal social functioning. And it was my opinion that this is what was happening to Emily.
further definitions of personality disorder can be seen in unnecessary emotional outbursts, the, the failure to control uh, one's immediate reactions to a given situation, um, not applying social skills, and unfortunately, Emily found it incredibly difficult to control these emotional outbursts, which to many of the people around her appear to be totally inappropriate uh, against the situation that they found themselves in. I try my best to look happy, but I'm dying inside. cases of personality disorder we can see suicidal tendencies and in Emily's case this was manifested by self-harming. Again not uncommon. Personality disorders can be uh, successfully dealt with. The difficulty is that the healthcare worker, the doctor, the social worker, the consultant has to spend an inordinate amount of time to support the person concerned, to build up a basis of trust and faith that doesn't collapse after a, a series of interviews, counselling sessions. And in Emily's case, uh, that was what was required. It is possible to achieve 100% success when working with borderline personality disorders, but we can never ignore the commitment and time and requirement necessary to help people suffering from this condition. My world was once only black and white. I was struggling to face the world each day. After a year of therapy, I'm getting better. I found the meaning of life, and I'm starting to see how colorful the world is. I learned how to trust myself and others. Now I have a stable relationship with my boyfriend. I have faith in myself now, although it may take some time. I believe I can totally overcome borderline personality disorder one day. <laughs>